this material world, everything which gives you happiness also gives you unhappiness. This is the paradox of this material world. In fact, unhappiness comes only from happiness. If you do not want happiness, you will never be unhappy. If anything which is making you unhappy and you trace the source of that unhappiness, you will find it because this gave you happiness. If your boyfriend and girlfriend has given you happiness, then they can also give you unhappiness. If you like to eat ice cream or chocolate and you relish it, it also gives you problem if you overdo it or when you don't get it. You like it very much, you are addicted to it and you don't get it, then you become the cause of your unhappiness. Or you eat too much of it, then it will give you some, some reaction will come in your body. So this is the principle of material life or the, our life, day to day life, that anything which gives me pleasure also gives me pain especially if I don't know how to balance things. And more sensitive we are, more we become disturbed. Animals don't become as disturbed as human beings. They don't have stress. They don't have insulin. They don't get high blood pressure or heart disease. Why? Because they are not sensitive like human beings. We become very much emotional and influenced by our circumstances, situations, and especially with our desires. When our desires are not fulfilled, then we become stressed. And because of the stress we feel unhappy our mind becomes agitated. And when mind is agitated, then you cannot feel happy. So, our human mind always goes into the dualities. Everything is related in the pairs. It always relates things, anything which it likes, then there is always something along with it which it does not like. Anything which gives it pleasure, then it is also something which gives it pain. So like, dislike, pain and pleasure, they go along with it. And although we think that pain and pleasure are two separate things, but actually it is the same thing which can turn into pain. The very object which gives you pleasure can also turn into pain after some time or under certain conditions. So we all know that people, they fall in love, they get married, <laughs> and then they get divorced. So the same person with whom you felt so happy one day, and you thought that this is the most happy day in your life, then later on you feel happy when you become separated from that person. There is a saying that, the most happy person, most the happiest day in the life of a man is when he gets divorced. <laughs> <coughs> Some famous person made this statement. So the same person which gave you so much pleasure, satisfaction, and you felt like one with you call somebody a soulmate. These days this word is very popular being somebody's soulmate. And then the same person can become your headmate. <laughs> that you want to separate that person. You don't want to see the face of that person. You want to go away, so far away from that person that you never want to see him again. So this is the nature of our mind actually. Our mind functions in such a way 
and it always goes from one extreme to another extreme. So why I am talking about this is because this yoga of dejection, which I will come to the topic, is related with this characteristic of mind. And if we don't understand this characteristic of mind, then we fall prey to unhappiness or depression, dejection, sadness. So this sadness or dejection is the quality or some feeling of the mind. It is not something which happens outside. It is not something which happens out there. It happens within me. And I have the ability to transcend it. But for that, I have to know my own mind and I have to get some grip over it. Because happiness and distress, pleasure and pain, they are the characteristics, they are the feelings in the mind. And although usually we think that they are dependent on something external, they are not dependent on something external, really speaking. And this is the big illusion created by human mind. Out of our ignorance, we think like that, that I am being distressed or I am in displeasure because of so and so person or such and such situation. But actually it is all caused by my own mind. Because a person can feel unhappy or distressed, happy and full of joy in any circumstance. Unless, of course, there are some extreme circumstances of some physical pain in the body or some very painful disease. Of course, in that also one can feel, but not an ordinary person. But even normal beings can adjust their mind. Our mind has that ability to adjust and change the situation. So these two things of sadness and pleasure, happiness and distress, they are actually the two sides of the same coin. So sometimes you see that when person is crying, there are tears in the eyes. When person is very happy, then also there are tears in the eyes. When somebody gets a very big shock in the life, then person can have heart attack and collapse. If somebody gets a great news of happiness, then also one can get heart attack and collapse. So I read one story that in India, in one small village, there was one postman. And in India, the postmans are not like postmans here in Canada.